Call your doctor right away and go to an emergency room immediately to scan the site of the bite with an MRI to determine underlying damage caused by the bite. Severe pain, nausea, and vomiting. Heavy breathing, changes in vision, tingling feeling in your face, arms, and legs. This is egregiously fake and false in regards to a ball python bite. So what's it like to be bitten by a bull python? And what is the general perception of what it's like to be bitten by a bull python? Well, being a bull python breeder, today I'm gonna to be sharing my personal experiences on what it's actually like, whether it's something that needs to be worried about, and what a lot of respected medical online sites have to say about what you should do if bitten by a bull python. And it might surprise you. First off, I want to dispel the idea that these snakes, or snakes in general for the most part, bite you very often. Often. Honestly, I think I had took five all of last year, but I wasn't really counting because it's not a traumatic experience. It's nothing that you really need to worry about. The fear of the bite is far more potent than the actual bite itself. They are little jack-in-the-boxes. They're little jump scares, how quick they jump and get you. And that's the worst part of all of it. The bite itself is um, pathetic. Ball pythons do not have fangs. They have a bunch of little teeth that curve inward. So I, I like to think of it as like if you took Velcro and squeezed it around your finger, that's kind of what it's like. So why does a ball python bite you? Because for one, it would be in fear. It's afraid. It is a defensive bite. It is merely trying to get you away from itself, whether that be a territorial cage response or out of actual fear of you. They aren't inclined to bite because it doesn't gang them anything. In fact, it can hurt them biting. They really only want to reserve that for food, which is the next point as to why they might bite. If you're feeding your snake and it's in food mode, it smells the food and it sees you as a heat source, it might go at you and bite you. That's probably the most common way to get bitten, honestly. And as long as you're prepared, you shouldn't even really have to worry about that. Now how do you avoid a bite? One way to avoid a defensive bite would be to present yourself in a non-threatening manner. If you go into your snake's cage and you are looming over it like this, if you are trying to do something like this, if you're tapping on its glass, these are reasons for the snake to be afraid. Try to put yourself in their shoes. You are not going to just ultimately trust someone who walks up to you that just so happens to be a giant that can pick you up and do whatever the heck they want with you without your permission so you might lash out you might try to scare them away you certainly probably without knowing their intentions aren't going to just let them pick you up but if the giant was coming at you and it was gentle and it's just like hey i just want to help you it might help dispel your fear just a little bit but you're still gonna have some fear. If I'm coming at this thing and I'm doing this and I'm waving my hands around all crazy, it's going to be afraid. Look at the reaction, you've seen it several times. I, I talk with my hands a lot, so it has already done that. It's moved around, it's just trying to get underneath my hands and do its famous moniker, the ball. But if I slowly and gently approach this animal, even though they don't like being touched in the head, it's a different story. Now, if this snake is in defensive mode, let's just say I want to disable it. If it's striking at me and it's on the ground and it's coiled up you can with one hand distract it and with the other hand boop, you just boop them on the head you see how the difference was i was just touching it on the head and it was calm it probably didn't like it but it kept moving forward it was calm i came a little bit more aggressively and just booped it on the head and it balled up and, re and, and retreated. So you can use that to your advantage if it's completely out of control. You can boop it on the head from behind. You might think that that's scary because it'll bite you, but if you're distracting it with the other hand, it will not. You just boop it on the back of the neck even, it'll retreat. But if you are gentle, you can bond with your animal and show it that it doesn't need to be afraid of you. I want to talk about a couple sites. One I think I've seen a few times, healthline.com. The other will be WebMD. And realize that as I say this, you may laugh, but really think about the long-term damage that an article like this does. Most people in the United States do not like reptiles, um, especially snakes. There's a lot of fear and a lot of our objectives, everyone's objective in the reptile community, whether you're just a lover of reptiles, you're a breeder, is to educate. So the idea of these sites that are posting this stuff as fact, it's funny, but it's not. 
Strap in, you're in for a ride. First, let's talk about Healthline.com and what they have to say about ball python bites. They start off not so bad. To paraphrase, they are basically describing what a ball python is, all that sort of stuff, and they're not so far off for the first part. It's when they start to get to what you should do when you're actually bitten. And the first red flag is while ball pythons are non-venomous, it may not only cause an injury, but allow bacteria to enter your body. Call a doctor to check out any snake bite, even if it's small. Uh, I, I, I disagree, because technically, sure, any cut can allow bacteria into your body. Of course it can. It doesn't mean you should run to the doctor for every little scrape and scratch you get, and there's no difference here. There's nothing about a ball python bite that's going to cause you any more of a reason to run there than, say, getting cut. In fact, I'd say getting cut off of a knife is far worse, because for one, it's actually going to slice your skin open and possibly cause some actual damage damage versus the little teeny hypodermic needles of a ball python. There's real risks of tetanus or contamination with maybe food products. So there's nothing with a ball python. They're non-venomous. They even start off by saying that. They do say that minor bites may only require washing the wound site with soap and water. You might want to wrap the area with a band-aid. Yeah, that's about the worst it's going to get. It's a band-aid. This is where it starts to go off the rails. Bites that are more severe may require medical care immediately, even if it appears minor at first. A severe bite may occur if a pet ball python remains clamped on your skin for more than a few seconds. That's all you need. You do not need to go to the doctor. You should call a doctor no matter the severity of your snake bite. They may want you to take antibiotics to avoid a bacterial infection from the bite. Again, if that's how you want to live your life in fear of every little cut that you get, you should probably live in a bubble. This is where they completely lose me. A doctor may want to scan the site of the bite with an MRI to determine underlying damage caused by the bite. This is the most bonkers thing I think I've ever seen in regards to a ball python bite. A doctor may need to remove tissue to help the bite wound heal. There could be damage to your tendons or nerves that may require surgical repair. This is wonky in the worst bites from a ball python. This is all I've ever needed. But that's just this Healthline site. Let's look at WebMD and what they have to say about ball pythons. WebMD's first paragraph might be the only thing in here that's somewhat correct. They say they're non-venomous, they then proceed to say a few facts about them in the wild. Then they proceed to tell you the symptoms and side effects of a deadly ball python bite. Puncture marks at the site of the wound, redness, swelling, and inflammation, severe pain, nausea, and vomiting, heavy breathing, changes in vision, sweating, tingling feeling in your face, arms, and legs. Outside of puncture wounds, all of this is egregiously fake and false. Maybe you'll get some redness. Maybe it gets infected. Unlikely. And again, just treat the wound. In no way, shape, or form is this going to cause anything else. I am pretty certain that they just copy-pasted a venomous snake's bite. They say not to apply a tourniquet. Don't try to cut the wound open. Probably, I would imagine, to try to drain venom. Don't apply ice or immerse the wound in water. Call your doctor right away and go to an emergency room immediately for <laughs> immediate medical attention. Actually, I, I didn't know this. They put this in knowingly because the next sentence says, even without venom, a snake bite might cause severe damage to your body. You might need stitches and medication to treat your bull python bite. So they knew. They didn't copy paste anything. They are actually telling you that a bull python bite might cause nausea, vomiting, heavy breathing, changes in vision, sweating, that you might need stitches and all this other such a nonsense. A retic would, well, retic probably might cause stitches but but they wouldn't cause none of the rest of this unless they wrapped your neck and we're talking about ball pythons here now this is funny at first but it's actually really damaging that a site that medical professionals are posting things on that many people go to say yeah they're at a show and then a ball python just happens to bite them and they're like oh my god oh my god is it venomous because i've been asked that before usually once a show so when i tell them no 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 everything's gonna be fine and they don't know who i am and then they google 
Google ball python bite and they see that they're going to die if they don't go to the doctor, who are they gonna believe? Now, two, three thousand dollars later from the ER, they're trying to sue me or some other nonsense because of WebMD. Now, obviously that would be frivolous, but still, this nonsensical information is out there. So what started off as a bite video really kind of, I hope, drives home the absolute state of education when it comes to reptiles. People do not know and they're perfectly happy living in their little bubble of fear sometimes. And it doesn't help any when you have actual medical websites telling people that a ball python bite is going to cause them to need to go to the ER. The long and short of this video is ball python bites are not something to be feared. Now, any bite isn't pleasant, but it's uncommon for a ball python to bite you. It's far more common for a mammal to bite you and actually do some actual harm. Believe it or not, cats scratches have been known to actually kill people because of infection and they underestimated it because of how dirty their paws are digging around in litter. Dogs cause massive damage and even death in some cases to people. But in the end, most snake bites and especially ball python bites are minor. They're nothing to be worried about. The experience of them lunging at you, which you might not even notice if you're not looking at them, is far more unpleasant than the actual bite itself. I'm not sitting here telling you that it's not valid to be afraid. Everyone has fears, but I would challenge you to try to get over your fears. I used to be terrified of spiders and I still don't care for them and I don't see myself changing that fact, but I finally got over my fear because I love to conquer fear by letting a tarantula crawl up my arm and it was not at all what I expected. Am I eager to have that done again? Not really, but it definitely changed my perception on a lot of things. The fear of the bite is far more potent than the bite itself, which is pathetic. Don't be afraid of a bull python bite. Most bull pythons are tame and aren't going to bite you anyways. They're certainly not inclined to do so, but even the meanest bull pythons on earth, they're not going to cause you any real harm. If you wanted to see the story about where I came about as close as you could of going to the ER from taking a snake bite from a ball python, you can check out that video right here.